If I had a dollar for every time someone mentioned TLS in any tech company, I'd probably be able to give Mr. Jeff Bezos a run for his money. Security features like TLS are the reason why CEOs, CTOs and founders of tech companies are able to sleep peacefully at night knowing that their data is secure, their customers still trust them and their stock prices are not at the risk of crashing. So how is TLS used in the context of user management slash authentication in Kubernetes? Kubernetes does not have a user API object like pods or deployments. You cannot just run create command to create a user. Users are packaged into configuration context. When you initialize a Kubernetes cluster for the first time, you will automatically get a Kubernetes admin context. So if you're a new user, you need to first create a private key file. And then using that private key file, you will create a certificate signing request, CSR. CSR will contain a public key, a certificate name, and an organization name. CSR will then be signed by a CA file. This should be the same certificate authority file used by R, Kube API server. This can be done using any SSL utility like OpenSSL or using kubectl. If you want to use kubectl method, then you need to create a CSR YAML file, copy the contents of the CSR created in the previous step, and apply it. Then an admin can sign the CSR by approving it. A certificate can then be created from the CSR using this command. Using the private key file and certificate, we can configure a new context and credential. You can create a new user using kubeconfig set credentials command. Remember to use the key file and certificate file we just created. Then you can create a new context for this user. You can use the use context option to switch between different contexts. You can list all the contexts using get context option. An asterisk will indicate which context you are in currently. Hit the like button and subscribe if you like watching short, useful tech videos like this.